stick it on a couple of times and sing down the wasn't happy. Way. Good morning, Kimberly. Travel Good morning, Jeff Metzger. for tuning in last night, first timer. Good morning. I think I've been up for, a, a, it's been a good morning. It's been a great morning. And the moon, the moon, the moon. You and I. birthday this past year. I was at a, a training that I was teaching yoga and it was a training on um, love. It was interesting. But I had a great birthday. And then I got to hang out with my friends Jeffrey and Sharon. I haven't seen Sharon on here. She's been busy making masks. mask o -rama. So tonight, I'm excited. Well, I'm still excited from last night. Donna Frost, wasn't she amazing? Donna Frost, Monday night. Good show. Dear friend that I grew up with here in St. Joseph, her name is Angela Borelli. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh in the house. Hot water lemon. Beet juice. Chia. Marianne McCormick Woodhouse, how are you? Where are you? Are you somewhere out in the world? Sipping, I'm sure, but but where? This is a good soul, Andre Bush. So on Meant to Be and Under the Influence and has had three of his own records. So check him out. Andre Bush, guitarist. He left the planet coming up on eight years. So tonight, my friend Angela Borelli is going to be on the show. Incredible artist, incredible makeup artist, painter. She works, she lives in Portland and she's just super, super cool. And she's opening an Etsy shop tomorrow, which I have no idea how to do, but um, I'm hoping, I'm looking, what's that in my cup? <laughs> what, what is that floating in my cup? It's lemon. Ernie Robinson in the house. Good morning, sir. Thinking about you, thinking about your children walking, walking anywhere, any of our children, any of our people, me, you. Messed up world we live in. That's why I'm staying in the house. Saying a lot of prayers. Doing what I can from here. But it's lovely to see you. 
and I hope that we have a peaceful day. Good morning, Diane Bond. How is Orlando? Did you get your masks yet? Do you need masks? Can I send you a mask? I have Papa Ben stash. Did you see that post? Where my dad created a box and left it in my closet with masks and gloves and a survival kit that he didn't know I was going to need. But he did know. Jenna and friends, here today, 11-11, mellow day, mellow day, going to visit a friend who has cancer, lives in a big tower in St. Joseph, Michigan, they call it the tower, and they're not allowing people in, I don't think, but I'm also physical distancing for my mom. I see her every day and I want to continue to see her every day. RP, so sorry about your very best friend growing up. I think I'll go pick more daffodils. I think I need a new daffodil or two, just like Mama Grace. Um, yes, so a friend of mine lives in the tower. Actually, the person that taught me how to tie my shoes. His name is Mr. Joe Scrimma. And he'll be sitting out on his deck, balcony, and Lillian and I are gonna walk by and wave and then we'll probably, you know, do that FaceTime, look at me, as they'd say, shallable. Messed up, strap, not cool. Good morning, Denny. How is the weather where you are? It looks really beautiful here, but I think it's really cold. <laughs> we went out much earlier today, like about, well, we went out to see the moon at 349, 345 and stayed out till about 4 a.m. Set our intentions, did what you do in a moon like that. Flower moon. And Howard probably freaked out my neighbors. I probably do that anyway, but that's okay. My neighbors, new neighbors next door, I probably really freaked them out. <laughs> so, Mayor, if you heard me howling or if you heard howling at quarter to four this morning, it's for why. Good morning, Jay Franklin. How is San Antonio today? San Antonio, Ukiah, New Mexico, Orlando, Ann Arbor, Pittsburgh, Fresno, St. Joseph, Laguna Beach, coast to coast. Mama Grace, I know you're here too. I know you're somewhere. He's always with me. Masks are on the way. Yes. Yes. I did I see a ring around the moon? Well, the first time I saw it saw it out last night was about ten and it was cloudy. And then we went out about twelve thirty and it was perfect. Clear, crisp, and then at four it was pretty clear. I missed the ring action. Hi, Lynette. Good morning. Good morning. Lynette, I have an artist that's going to be on tonight. Her name is Angela Borelli. Check her out. Maybe it will inspire you to want to come be on the show, please. You could do a morning show. I would love for you to, to be here and we can... Lynette, whenever I say Lynette, because I have it right here. Yeah. 
if Lillian was here, you'd definitely. It it it, it only makes it happen when 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 Lillian is here. Yep. She and I saw your show last night. Wasn't Donna cool? Isn't Donna cool? I love her. My sister. My Nashville sister. Yeah, she's good people. Not live? No? Okay. Well, live tonight with Angela Borelli. That will be really fun. She doesn't do Facebook anymore, but I know a lot of her friends do. Oh, you didn't. I'm confused. You saw the show, but you did not see it live. Born in San Antonio on the Air Force Base in a car on the airport runway. Right, what, what, right, right. I'm like, right, 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 right. What are you talking about? I feel like Scooby Doo. Front roll. You were born in a car on an airport runway? Uh oh. When I say see Gina Melita, I'd almost want to make a phone call. Hear what's happening in that household. What's what's being made for any meal of the day? Feel like a phone call? Hello, hello, hello. Runway, Diane, you were born on a runway. I want to hear the rest of that story. I think next week I'll make a phone call, Diane, and we'll have a little runway or tomorrow morning, whatever works for you. How about when you get your masks, text me, and then I'll get to see you in your mask. <laughs> I know you just tuned in. Oh, just tea over here. Can I call you? Right now? Gina? Let me know. I will. Oh my goodness gracious. Your brother was in the back seat and your dad delivered you? That's the coolest. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're calling Gina Melita. I'm getting lots of messages from lots of lovely people. Are you guys doing the same thing where you get messages from Messenger, see messages from Messenger, two emails, texting, Instagram, yeah, that's it. GM in the house. I think I should have maybe brushed my hair today. Hi. <laughs> Turn down my volume a little bit. Oh yeah, my friend, my friend is, um, he's from, he lives in San Antonio, but I don't think he was born. Jay Franklin was not born on a runway in a car delivered by his father. I think. I have, isn't that a cool story? That is a crazy, awesome story. I know. I got to <laughs> get her back on the show, and we can do that. Good morning, Gina Melita. How are you today? I'm okay. I'm doing pretty well. I'm yeah. <clears throat> easing into this day slowly. Just had a cup of tea. What kind of tea did you have today? Hi, uh, Jasmine. <clears throat> Jasmine Green Tea. Mm. Vin Dill. Oh, yes. Vinny Vin. I'm going to flip you around. I'm putting you on my fancy tripod. That's fine. Do you have plans for, for food today? Um, I haven't made any yet. I, I'll probably think about that a little bit later. No plans yet. Um, you got your rocking glasses on. I got my rocking glasses on. <laughs> they they were stuck in they were stuck in the bed. I couldn't find them. <laughs> so you know, readers uh -huh. they just end up everywhere. So last night it's funny. I I picked up my alternative glasses. And they were hurting my eyes, and I couldn't figure out why. You know, it was late, 
and I'm watching some Netflix and I'm like, God, my eyes are just so tired. I can't focus what's going on. They hurt. I realized this morning that they weren't my reading glasses. They were my, my, (laughs) or my stepson's actual prescription glasses. Oh no, no, They look exactly the same except mine are purple. His are black, but in the dark, I couldn't tell the difference. So I thought I was going blind, but no, just, just the wrong glasses. (laughs) I was pretty stupid. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. Not the brightest bulb on the tree. <clears throat> what, do you, what were you watching on Netflix? God, what was I watching? I was doing some Shit's Creek. Yeah. It's just light and funny. Oh. It's silly. Don't you just love Shit's Creek? I it love just it. cracks me up. I, I like that the episodes are short, <laughs> so you don't have to get too invested. Mm. You know, I was doing a lot of Shameless and some other stuff. Ozark, it's just so dark. I was like, mm. damn, I really need something light and short. And so uh, Schitt's Creek is a good one because it's, you know, like hilarious and goofy. And I mean, you know, what's her name? Catherine O'Hara. Catherine O'Hara. Bebe. My little Bebe. She's the best. Um, I mean, it's, you know, eventually you kind of, you know, their mannerisms become very, you kind of expect it. But it's still funny and cute. Well, it's um, all improvised. It's all improv. Yeah. So much improv. So it's, it's fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I when I was watching it, I I wouldn't even I didn't even sit and watch. I would just turn it on, and do whatever. And I could hear the you know I, I heard the dialogue and I was an SCTV fan as a bebe yeah. as a little bebe, and sure. I just think they're all great. And his son is great. And and yeah. I'm a you know I'm sure. a shameless devotee. I I love Shameless, but I know it's it has its. It's just so, it gets so dark, and you're like, wow, and it's, you know, intense, and it's like a lot of shit, you know? And you're oh, like, yeah. Well, <laughs> I grew up around that, so I I, I, I uh, resonate towards it. In a yeah, I, I, I can't say, I mean, well, yeah, not quite to that <laughs> degree, but uh, yeah. Hi, I hear Lillian you. Pearl. Lillian Pearl got out of bed, everybody. Say, hi, girl. Girl, she says, "Where's my sunshine? Where's my sunshine? Where's my teddy bear? Where's my pillow?" You got it, girl. So, Jenna, what are you gonna eat today? Well, I made sort of based on your reference. I made. I chopped. I didn't. Okay, so I got. I had those mushrooms. Right. And I ended up shredding them I shredded them every single mushroom I sat there and like a mad woman I shredded a pound of mushrooms chopped up two red onions sauteed the onions sauteed folded in the mushrooms and had some a a bag of frozen peas threw that in sauteed that up and then I found based on a bag that was left at my doorstep um, uh-huh. I had some gluten free I'm looking at Lily gluten free stuffing that was in the hands of another person and I got um, you know a bag of things back right right and one of the things was this box of stuffing that wasn't used so um, and that has its own interesting story in it because I guess they forgot that I was gluten free and um, didn't make the stuffing after all anyway so right. I, I should have paid attention to that. Um, I'm talking cryptic, but Gina knows what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> so, so anyway, I took, I have this really beautiful pan and I covered the bottom with the stuffing and put some soup in it and covered it and baked it with some Parmesan. You made and some, dressing, basically. I kind, not really, it wasn't really a dressing. It was. It was a dressing, but it was more of just, and then I put goat cheese on top. It sounds delicious. Parmesan goat cheese. It was a dressing, but it was more, it was more like what's in the fridge and because I had the stuffing. and But I didn't want it to be stuffing, stuffing rich. I didn't want like, ugh. Bread. Right. Right. So. When I was at Zuni uh, Cafe, which, you know, I worked at in San Francisco. I do. We used to do something called a panade there. Yes, and you it, did. It, very very light i've never seen anything like it before and it was like it's like a dressing but similarly it wasn't heavy or dense mm-hmm. it was like 
very, very light. It was cream and stock mixed together with very, very, very little egg, almost none. Like, you know, a lot of times when you make a dress and you kind of have the, the stock and the bread gets heavy and, right. and just enough egg to actually, when you cooked it, it would souffle a little. So it would become really light. It's gorgeous. As a matter of fact, I was, um, because, you know, I can really only play so many games of solitaire on my phone and so many articles I can read that just make me uh, anxious that I started going back and reading some of my favorite cookbooks and um, I picked up the Zuni Cafe Mm. cookbook today because if you have never seen it or read it it isn't just a cookbook it's I mean she she's the the chef's Judy she's just um very into her prose and her history and oh my god amazing I could just sit and read it it's it's like a novel it really is a beautiful book I have that on my shelf I remember a lot of these dishes and so I was reading it and I did decide on what I want to cook on Sunday it's a Zuni Cafe dish um I will not be able to get flagellet beans but I do have lentils and it recommends you can do lentils as well so that's yay so it's a it's a braised salmon in red wine with lentils and lardon or bacon basically I'm pretty excited about it so I'm excited I'm going to do that. It's all—it's like a one-pot wonder dish. It's also got something else in it. I forget. Some kind of green vegetable. It might be some kind of... Ooh, I don't know if it's peas. I don't think it's peas. I think it's some kind of green. It might be escarole. I'm going to see what I can find. Some kind of chicory product. But it's a little hard to find that. You know, this isn't um, the green... Uh, <laughs> it isn't... It's New Orleans. New Orleans, yeah. Everything's brown. Um but I'm excited about it because I, I remember doing this dish and making it when I was working at the wood burning oven and we would do it in these beautiful stone crocks. So um, I'm going to make that on Sunday. That's going to be my, that's going to be my mother's day treat to myself. There you so. go. And do you, yeah. are you, will your family be in the kitchen with you on mother's day? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, sure. I mean, if, if my son wants to help, that'll be fine. Uh, my husband is a chef too. So we try to stay out of each other's way um, when we're cooking. Because that can, you know, you get in the way. Everybody's, you know, too many too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Right? Got it. Got it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, my son wants to help, that's fine. But I really like it. I really like being in the kitchen and making something that's, you know, not just every day. Oh, here's another pasta dish. That's like me with my soup. There are people be like, oh, she's making soup again. Yep, I love to make soup. Well, Because then I convert it into other stuff. Right. So I did decide on that, which is nice. And I ordered some wine. My friend Denise turned me on to the wine on something you order online. I forget what it's called. It's like Wine Insider. Wine Insider. The Wine Insider. You can sure. to your house, which is pretty awesome. It's all cheap. I mean, good, but less expensive than you would. So I'm gonna, I ordered some of that. I don't know that it'll be here by Sunday, but it doesn't matter. Um, so that's nice. I'm kind of looking forward to that and you know, treating, doing my thing. Happy, happy Mother's <laughs> Day early to you and to every mother in the world. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah. I mean, you know. I'm looking at so Lily and she's still yeah. digging. Dig. She does that digging thing. Lily and Pearl. Mm-hmm. She likes to nest in her blankets or something. She nests and she loves comfort. She has a whole blanket thing full of cashmere and, and silk and but then she has this little couch that she comes out, and that's where the rays of sun just beam right in. Yeah, my cat does that. She seeks out the sunlight. There's funny pictures of my cat and my dog kind of both, you know, in the patch of sunlight. They're not near, they're not too close to each other, but just enough. It's kind of sweet, you know, that little warm piece on the floor. Do you have two, what do you have? Cat and a dog. Okay, and they they love each other? They don't dislike each other. They they like each other. I think that he's a little scared of her, as dogs will be. He she definitely is the <laughs> it's the bully the of the cat in the bear. He's a big old fifty something pound pit mix, and she's a little. She looks like a she looks like a Siamese, but she's not. She's a stretch. She was a rescue, um, and her her siblings weren't didn't have all the same markings or anything it was a definite like tabby type mix but she got i don't know some strain of something there she looks sort of she's beautiful but um yeah she's definitely the bully in the mix for sure 
Lillian kind of the Lily thing. Lillian thinks she's well. Nikki was with me the other day. Lillian likes to bark. At, if it's interesting, if a dog barks at Lillian, she won't bark at them. But if she sees them first, she right. she barks. And she's you know eleven pounds. And there's this right. big giant anything German Shepherd. She's like, <laughs> and they're like, yo, dude, I was just walking by. Don't walk by my world, but... Right. Oh, she just... I said that, and she just went, Hello, Lily and Pearl. Is that your world? Yeah. <laughs> this whole apartment, <laughs> everything around this apartment. Yeah, yeah, I love... Your grandmother's name... Well, the reason I named Lillian Lillian Pearl, someone just wrote that their grandmother's name was is Pearl. Um, I told my grandmother, Lillian... When I was a young girl, when I had a daughter, I would name her Lillian. That's nice. And when Lillian, I've, I've, yeah, she is a German Shepherd inside. She totally is. <laughs> she was born, she had a little black pearl right on her neck. Right, right at the base of her neck. And at first I thought, do I call her Luna? Because Mooney, because she's the reincarnate of the moon, my other dog. Or do I call her Audrey? And she didn't resonate to either one of those names just now. And I thought, Lillian Pearl. How nice. Yeah. It's funny how it takes a while for a pet. I had my, my first cat that I had went through a litany of names. And, and um, I realized that every time, I, I, once again, she kind of adopted me. Um, she was drenched in a rainstorm. It was when I was living in the Bywater North five years ago. <laughs> and, um, and uh, she, she just kind of showed up on my back doorstep, and so I, I kind of fed her, and then I did feed her, and then she would come in, but she'd break out the window a lot. And uh, uh, then I realized that she hung around the house more, that she would, she would do everything. I like, I would use the bathroom, and she would come in and use the cat box. I would eat something. She'd go to her bowl, and uh, she was very nocturnal. Uh, so I ended up calling her Kinko because she stayed up all night and copied everything <laughs> I did. <laughs> True, and that 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 name stuck. So she's my little Kinko, forever. Kinko, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's good. That <laughs> yeah, Lillian's just. I, I started. There was one the, the, the other day. Oh, I was gonna. I I told her she was barking so much. I told her I was gonna start calling her Bob. Bob Barker. Oh God, but I'm bumped. But now she's chill. Your house, my friend Nikki, her first house was on Pearl Street. My first house was on Colfax. First two houses I lived at. And our parents, our, our fathers grew up together in Benton Harbor. And um, her father was Gene Harris, incredible pianist. That I listen to Gene and my day gets better. So if you can listen to some Gene Harris this morning, he Harris... I would like to invite you to be on the show. Are you an 1111 11 early day or are you a morning girl? Because Gina, Gina goes both ways. Gina's like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> morning and evening. I was up really late last night or really early this morning and watched the moon and howled at 3.45 a.m. And I said I was probably freaked out my neighbors, but that's what happened. Anyway, so... Tonight, my friend Angela Borelli is going to be here, and if you are around, check her out. She's fabulous, fabulous Fantastic. artist. She's a painter, and she decided to open up a sh uh, an Etsy shop as of tomorrow. So oh, wow. We're That's going to have a, a big, a grand opening tonight for her on here on Facebook Live. So, kids, I'm going to take off because All right. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, think, I'm getting hungry. What are you going to make today? Breakfast. I'm, um, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to start with some eggs, though, because I've got quite a few in the refrigerator. And um, I might, I don't know. I'm going to see. The other day I made something for my son, which was toasted pita topped with hummus, a little bit of crumbled feta, a fried egg, and some chimichurri sauce. Wow. I get like eating that every day, pretty much, for the better part of a week. But I'm running out of, I ran out of feta. I'm almost out of chimichurri, so I think I, I may do a riff on something like that. It was just some stuff, honestly, with stuff that we had in the fridge that was kind of left over from some beef steak that we had the night before. Um, so, yeah, I might do something like that. 
little bread, little egg, little something kind of saucy. I bought some eggs the other day. I bought 18 eggs for $5. Organic, beautiful eggs. On, nice. a, on a road in Baroda, Michigan, my mom and I were driving. We were doing a, a social distancing, physical distancing drive. Nice. And this sweet company. You have a beautiful day too, Nikki. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm going to um, message you and get you here because people. I want people to hear you. Um. Anyway, it's they. You know, it's the little you put your money in the little can and. Mm -hmm. Go in the refrigerator and get your, and I thought a dozen eggs, $5. I'm so used to, you know, in the Bay Area, they can be $16 when they're gluten-free eggs. Oh, yeah, I know my, the show is interrupted. Hmm. Bye, you guys. See you. Anyway, um, they're lovely eggs. I'll send you a photograph of my eggs. Beautiful. I love you. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Love you, too. Time I'm, for dinner. I'm going to go make eggs. Okay, go make eggs. Bye. Bye. I, I don't know why the interruption happened because I didn't do anything Facebook wrong, but I guess it's time to go. Have a beautiful rest of your day, start of your day, end of your day. See you tonight. Oh, God.